Welcome in to another video on the channel. Uh, we got a fun one for you today. Let's go ahead and load it up. We have zombies, a new tribe to try out on the historic uh, arena meta. Uh, let's go ahead and move my face over a little bit so we can see what the full sideboard has for us. Um, so... Trying out a new one today. This deck I built already, but Champion of the Parish. Very, very good one drop, and obviously has some appeal here. Uh, the main card of the deck is Collected Company, of course. Uh, we're, running, we're running, I believe, 34 creatures, 32 not counting the Gem Palm Polluters. This one is what gives the deck reach. Obviously, when you cycle it, you could have five, six zombies out at a time, so she has some tokens. And it's it's fantastic. Um, Wayward Servant, Servant and uh, Corpse Knight, obviously good cards that give reach, great zombies in the deck. You've probably seen these from uh, Shadows of Innistrad. This one definitely from Shadows of Innistrad, uh, Pro Tour where they won. Uh, shout out to that uh, Hall of Famer, Jerry Thompson. Um, what, a, what a great great deck he had and, and very well played in that meta that he was not supposed to win. But obviously we have a couple Lords here. I would play more Lords if I had them, but these are the Lords that are available to us. Uh, Murderous Rider is also a zombie and is good removal. So uh, let's let's get into it. The sideboard, last but not least, uh, a couple Skyclave apparitions, Legion's End, uh, Witch's Vengeance. I, I'm really scared of elves. It's this is not an easy matchup against elves. And then I got Liliana, Untouched by Death, and Dreadhorde General. Never brought the Dreadhorde General in. I'm thinking about cutting this one, but uh, we'll keep it in in case we play Control. Untouched is also good against Control, and it's it's good removal. And then thought seasons, as you can assume, clean dust, good, good graveyard hate. But uh, I'm excited. Let's play. Let's get me back over for the. All right, traditional historic. We'll do three games today, and we are already off to a bang here. Two minutes in. Oh, we'll play first. That's a lot of lands. No. That's no lands. Not a good start for us. All right, one Reaper. One land. This one can make green, though. All right. Hope you guys really enjoy this one. I've had a lot of fun building this deck. This has to make black, unfortunately. Maybe I should have kept the other one. We'll lead on the uh, the Corpse Knight so we can try to deal more damage. Liliana. Oh. Interesting. Second Corpse Knight. Hunter's tab. Jadar. No, I'm just reading this because it makes a 2-2 zombie. I've not played with any of the decayed stuff yet, but Undead. Undead Augur is, is available to us now? Oh my goodness, folks. I did not realize they gave us this one. I did see that we get got some minor ride this car, but this is obviously better than Graveyard Marshal. And I'm going to have to kill it, because I, re I respect that card. Wow, Undead Augur. I may make that change right away. <laughs> it's an uncommon, like, you may see a, a live change to the deck here as before the next match. Undead Augur is in this set. It was in that set that they brought in. Wow. See, but you need a sack outlet. That's what you really need with that card. So they are they also on zombies? What are the chances? Yep, I'll play my lord. Jadar. Combos very well with Undead Augur, I will say. Mm -hmm. And Tainted Adversary. 
should play this one too? Oh, there's no blocks here. So Jadar just keeps remaking the same zombie. Well, that's just game. But, um, very fun deck. And I like the cards they have. That it's Tainted Adversary may also Wow. <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah, obviously I'm gonna cut these two for the augers immediately. But other than that, I don't think I like having the reach now, which is vengeance. Not very good here. Legion's end will be though. I think we want the sky claves as well. Hmm. Champion the Parish plus Jadar. Wow, like I, I'm gonna cut the Parish here, but I am completely missing these new zombies. This, like I said, this is an older deck. I just got excited because I saw Champion the Parish, but I didn't really think about looking at the Modern Horizons zombies. That is so. I am ecstatic right now. This is hilarious. Uh, yeah, I'll keep. We'll play the Isolated Chapel first, obviously. This is just straight mono black. Okay, Thought sees me. Probably would take Coco, but I'm so far away from it. Maybe they just take Death Baron. No, oh, one of the Servants. Okay. Maybe they have another removal or a discard spell. Jadar here. Yeah, Jadar is Legend. Is a legend. I wonder how many they're on. I kind of like this is where I miss the chat function. I would chat this player up and be like, dude, our chick, whoever you are, what? How many of these are you? XRE1? Like, how many tainted? I, I'd play four tainted adversaries. That's just cards. Good. They're on Champion Parish, too. Look at this combo. Look at this combo. There's no blocks here. So, this is going to get another counter, and they're going to draw a card. Yo, I'm just I'm gonna scoop to that, but uh, I didn't draw land. Holy cow! This this is a whole different version of the deck that I think could be really good as well. Um, thinking about that third murderous raider, I think we're fine though. Skyclave is just better than murderous raider. Wow, their zombie deck could be better than ours? Question mark. Play first. Yeah. Legion's End should be good here. Crit Breaker. White. Corpse Knight. Okay. Oh, boy, it's going to be a pretty big blowout. Tap land. Two for one. Maybe get a third. Well, they have a third and they play it, right? All right. And then I'll obviously be bigger than the Lord if I play my Lord. Being on the play is a big difference in this game, and I did two for one them. I think we're in the driver's seat here. They're on a couple Lothwain as well. So they're not on the Coco package, clearly, which kind of feels wrong. I It's whenever ETB for the champion. A Jadar. Wow. What a great way to start off the video with playing against another zombie deck. Like, that's... Wow. Alright, passing. So they, did, they chose not to play this, so they must have some sort of removal. So if I play another Lord, we should... Well, if I just kill their creature as well, that could be very good. Another Lord definitely gets us through. They don't have two removal spells here. I'm trying to think what they could have at instant speed. It's got to be uh, Murderous Raider, right? Yeah. Okay. So then they just take three. Down to eight. Okay. 
So if we draw a land, we can go Wayward Servant into the Lazatop Reaper. Okay, Champion into a 2-3 Life Linker. No, into Lord. I should have been more specific about the land, huh? All right, so we're gonna be able to deal two, make t make two more, put them to six, and then we can deal five, almost lethal. No blocks. They should attack with this Murderous Rider for sure. They're not going to pay. Oh, you pay now if you want to. So they should make two. Two, yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, if they don't attack with the Murderous Rider, they lose. Okay. Oh, opponent. Oh, you gotta do something here. Well, that's just game. Their deck, pretty good though. Like, there's some pieces in there that I should probably have in my own, like, I'm gonna make that change right now if you guys don't mind on the fly. I, Undead augers, just like it's it's wrath proof. It's it's really good. <clears throat> wow, to blow off the video a, a zombies deck versus zombies. That's what are the chances? And they're just mono black. Uh, undead auger, right? Unbelievable. That's a card. in this game. I probably wasted wild rare wild cards on those. I don't own Nah I don't. Alright, alright. Alright, well, that's the change we'll make. We'll try that out. I just think that's automatic. Like I think I should play four of those guys to be realistic with you. But like the combo potential with the Jada, right? You just it keeps dying, you attack with it. I mean, you could have a bigger creature block. doesn't matter. It's just going to still put the counter on. Because you sack it after combat. That's gross. Adversary, I think, is a mythic. I think I have plenty of mythic rare wild cards. Could definitely put a few of those in the deck, too. What's going on here with these lands? One land and... It's... No, I'm not even going to think about that one. All right. One, two. I don't want to put Coco back. That feels wrong. All right. That felt wrong. That's for Sentinel. Nice. So I can make this into a 3 3 with the uh, Reaper. Which I think is what I'll do. Skip the Corpse Knight. Oh, there's no box here. That's pretty strong. Humans, I like it. What's what's going on with this this meta right now? We're just playing against. <laughs> That's right. That's funny. All right. Um, easy chapel. Make us do a four four. Make it do a five five. See if they want to double block. They don't. 
And see what I'm saying? Like, I draw the Gem Palmer. I could just deal five here. I pretty much have lethal. Pretty incredible. If we can go three for three for Tribe. All right, I will tap. Okay, that's a good one. That's just two mana exile anything, huh? Because it's a human deck. Undead Augur. I think it's Lord here. Yeah. Well, Champion of the Parish overperformed there. Witch's Vengeance is easy. Legion's Ending is easy. Do I need the Skyclaves? <clears throat> I'm on the draw this time. Put down a palm. And I guess the two murder shards are bringing in the one. I'd rather draw Witch's Vengeance. Okay. If we're going to play against this. I mean, think about it. There's goblins, there's elves, now there's humans, zombies, vampires. Like, tribal is. I think Elementals is a tribe, right? You can play Elementals? I'm sure somebody's on it. Rib, uh, Ribbon Reef and all that. So, tap land. This is fine. Maybe we'll draw the untapped land to make it so it's going to be green. Thraven Inspector. I like Thraven. That's just a really good design on a card. All right. All right. Make it 2-3. Two, two, Not the best one to play on, too. That helps. You know? <clears throat> Fatal push. Okay. All right, I understand their line now. Three, six. Okay. Champion of the perished. Now I think we just go Reaper Chump. Because we do, we do want to make sure we cast uh, Collecting Company next turn. Hopefully, we have no more ways to pump. That'd be nice. They're Abzan humans, and we're Abzan zombies. That's so funny. Two mana sack, yeah. Why do I want to hold a green? I will trade with this lieutenant. Alright. Take six, go to six. Okay. You think they're on mana tithe? Because <laughs> that is a card. Nah, we'll just pass. If they're on Manatai, the uh, hats off. Hats off to them. Alright, not on Manatai. Hmm. So this will only become a 2 2. Okay. Contemplating double blocking this Thalia's Lieutenant. If I do... Because I'll go to one. Do you think they play Pomps? I don't think they play Pomps. I just don't like being a one. Like we have a whole group of cards. Yeah. And just like that, we turn the tides. They're on a lot more removal than you would expect. Alright, it's probably going to target, target the 4 of or the Crypt Breaker. I can't tap the target the Crypt Breaker. The Death Baron. Yeah, there's still no tap here. <coughs> Alright, so then that makes this 3-4 a good attack. I go to one. I'll tackle both. All right. Let's 
So here's the deal. I'm going to cycle and then discard whatever I draw. Oh, they just have lethal. All right. They drew well. That was a lot of removal. I'm a little shocked. Maybe this Liliana's not bad then. Okay, on the play here. We did ball a lot that game, right? Tap land, untap land. Yeah, we have a Witch's Vengeance. A little scary, because I think they can get above three pretty quick. Okay. Yeah. Pretty aggressive them to attack, in my opinion. Hopefully, I play another just another human. And I draw land. It's not gonna put counters on anything. Like a skyclave would be fine here. Perfect. That actually works. Oh, there's no blocks. Give me the land. Give me the land. Come on, man. That. that I mean, this is such a blowout. Like, cause this will die, and then this will die, cause of the. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Uh, I think it's still another one of these guys. Unbelievable. Now they're going to play a lieutenant and be too big, and then now uh, this card does nothing. Maybe. Maybe they just play Skyclave. Just play Skyclave. Or sack this clue. They have five cards there. There's no way to sack the clue. Oh. We kept a two-lander on the, on the play. On the play. Anticipation's killing me. So we don't want to see Thali's Lieutenant. General Crudro is a legend. It has another effect on it, right? Sacrifice two humans, story target. Yes! Okay. Get my corpse knight. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's such a blowout. And they're shocking. Was this a fatal push? Giant killer two? Oh, give it to me. Well, this, this will still die. All right, this is 3, 6, 10. No blocks. Give me the land. Oh, why didn't I chump? Because of the freaking shocking. Oh, that was bad by me. Oh, I deserve this. Oh, I'm bad. Why would I not chump? I didn't realize it was going to down to 2. Oh my gosh, opponent. Yeah, they got me. Okay, and then now they're going to talk smack. You're dead if I freaking play that card. Bad play by me. Bad play by me. Oh, it's a punt. It's a punt and a half. Why would I not chump? There's no reason not to chump one of those creatures so I can shock. Because I know I'm playing shock lands. Well, my deck did not give me mana, though, on time. All right, game three. See if we can't 2-1. That was winnable and egregious. And if we play another travel deck, I'm going to lose it. All right, man, is good on this one. Man, is really good on this one. Go one, two. Probably this one. <clears throat> okay. Good for them. 
and the looting, okay. Claim the firstborn, and okay. I didn't see a Luris, did you? <laughs> now I'm asking if you saw it. <laughs> That's funny. All right, wayward servant. Okay, make a 4-4. Four, four. Five, excuse me, 5-5. Five, five. Put some respect on it. One man to make a 5-5, five, five, not, not bad. It's a creepy looking demon. Croaks it, yeah. Where is the Luris, though? That's my question. Hmm. No attacks. I'll bring back Luris next turn. We're discarding Corpse Knight. Mm hmm. Yeah. So our graveyard hate's gonna be real good here, as well as Legion's End. Yeah, of course not. I would not like to take three for this land, but if we have to, we have to. Okay. See the uh, appeal of this deck, you know what I mean? Like just ding 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 with the triggers. But opponent with the removal may be good enough. Okay. So it's 13. All right. Three, six, eight, ten, twelve. Maybe they have push or something. I don't know why you would do that against my deck. That doesn't make any sense. I get attacking with the Luris, maybe the last card of my hand, but I would have left one creature back. Klings come in. Legion comes in. Probably go down one. Maybe the murderous raiders. Okay. Ha! Ah, punted that last one. Could have beat those humans. Could have beat them easily. Easily. And then they were saying oops, oops, like it was a I love it, man. I love the arena. Folks uh, act real big behind the screen, don't they? It's the way of the world. Opponents on some kind of Rakdos without Luris deck. Uh, maybe they haven't figured out you have to... So, I don't know if you guys know this, but when playing with a companion since the update, you have to say your deck is historic, not, tradi not traditional. You can't have historic, you have to have traditional historic clicked. There's a, there's a setting in the title or whatever the deck selection. It took me a while to figure it out myself, not, you know, pat myself on the back. But I was like, why can't I play with Luris in historic? All right, summit. Oh, one drop, you don't say. There is a zombie one. I should. <laughs> I don't want to spend money on that. All right, that's a good, good threat to kill. I don't even. Yeah, I need to do this. Fatal push. Real good. Citrus supplier. Okay. So we'll be able to draw a card right away with Lazatop Reaper as well. I think Reaver, I keep calling it Reaper, Lazatop Reaver is really good. With Crypt Breaker in, in this deck. I don't know. 
there's enough room for the other guys. Bone shards. That seems good. I can almost buy him back. I need one more mana for five, and I can buy back those two creatures in the graveyard. All right. Well, we just get to Coco next turn. Uh, I'll do that main phase due to Lords trying to push more damage. I should have brought in, again, if we play game three, I think Skyclave's good in this deck. I should probably bring that in. Uh, another, another Black Source isn't going to hurt us. Season Pyro, that's good. I guess... The Crit Breaker, right? We'll just get him for two. This is why they're not on Luris. Okay. I think Luris is better, but I am a big fan of this guy. This card's like 30 bucks in paper. Opponent missing lands, it's unfortunate. Didn't they discard these, though? No, Stitcher milled them. Stitcher milled them. Sweet list. I got something similar. I'm not on bone shards, though. Maybe I should be. Modern Horizons 2, man. This one's good. I wonder... If we go back to Shadows, there's a definitely a Rakdos Vampires deck we could build. With the, with the Madness. I think there's already a good Madness deck out there. We got Hollowed One and... The Blazing Root Waller. It's another deck I should probably try to build. They're deep in the tank or they just gave up and taking their frustration out with the rope. We were prepared for whatever they had, you know. It does suck when you don't draw lands, but I'm sure they're on like 19 or 20 because they're playing their curve so low. How about that human stack? Oh, no, 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 that was the other video. I played against, uh, it was a sweet list. They were on, like, Delver's Secrets. Um, my turn. I'll make sure to tap. They were on Delver's Secrets. Uh, DRC. Oh, another one? That's just gross. Um, it was really good. It was a really, it was very low to the curve type of deck. Of course, I didn't find the Witch's Vengeance, but it makes you think about the... Pro I have a Prowess deck, too, I've built. I'm thinking, would Delver be good enough? They're playing uh, Otherworldly Gaze to look at their top three to make sure the top card was, uh, you know... It's, it's not Brainstorm, but it's pretty close in the sense of Arena. Man, that card was legal for a minute. That's crazy. Uh, my opponent, very frustrated here. Could have just exited the client. It's very possible. Just closed it. But it's looking like I'm going to get the win here and finish 2-1. I guess a league is technically 5, right? Oh, wow. That's a big whiff. We, I mean, we can keep playing. I don't have to end the video after three matches. League would be 5, right? If we're doing MTGO rules here. I got nothing but time. Play two more. Played against the uh, tribal deck, though. That's so funny. Two tribal decks. The zombies. What better way to start the video? So cool. Yeah, J Jada and the Tainted Adversary. Those are definitely cards I would definitely consider playing. Maybe it's a whole different type of Zombies deck, you know? You gotta be playing Coco, though. It's, no it's nothing to splash an extra color instead of Mono Black. I'm real curious to see their list. All right. Two and one so far. Let's keep it moving. Let's 
if I can't get all my rewards done too while we're at it. Alright, here we go, match four. Game's going quick, huh? Really fast. Oh my gosh. I also, I, I, I guess I'm obsessed with tribal. I don't get it. I have a fish deck. I have merfolk as well built. And that, we've got some really good additions. I'll have a video for that coming shortly. Um, they, they printed that, uh, that mer, the merfolk that gets ward one and whenever it attacks, draw a card. Man, get the whole team. That it's, it's so good. Uh, yeah, this is fine. We have green mana too for the Coco. Once again, considering leading on Awakening, it does make Chapel worse. Oh no, we drew the one drop? Okay. Forest and Nahiri could be elves. Looking like elves. Certainly elves. This is not a good matchup. But we're going to try to make it decent. Yeah, perfect. No attack, though. Discipline player. They know their game. I will attack, though. I guess I trade the Dwinnan's Elite. I think it's fine. Wow! I love it! I love it! Alright, we need to draw the land for Coco. Alright. I would attack back. Well, I mean, why, if you weren't going to block, why not attack? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not blocking. Land for Coco? Nope. Another Lord, though. Second Death Baron? Probably better than this. 4, 7, 10. I think I'm supposed to Alpha. Yeah, and they trade my Death Baron. Alright. I mean, they could just slam what you call it here and kill me. They're not going to, they're just going to pass. Attack for four. I, I don't have to block that one. Whoa. Four, seven, ten. Put them a three. If they can't kill me, if they can't draw the crater hoof, then I'm just going to kill them next turn. Let's see if they draw the crater hoof. They're going to find it. Top seven? There's, they definitely hit it. There's no way they didn't hit it. They're taking their time. Maybe they didn't hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six. They aim one short. That's unfortunate. Are you supposed to make the another one? To you're not attacking Pierce. Perfect, right? Oh, that's game. All right. Well, we beat elves. Not bad. Gonna do what's correct. Coco would have got it too. Alright, Legion's End, real good here. Which is Vengeance. Do I want the Skyclaves? I'm on the draw. Okay. Leaning very hard on Click Company for this one. There's also a four mana that gives minus three, minus three in there. Name it a tribe. Never casting this card. 
Alright, here's a Coco. It can't be land, can it? I'm on the draw. Man, which is Vengeance be real good right now. This tag for two, right? I got no blocks. Wow, okay. Tried to find that witch's vengeance. Oh, right on time. I suppose I could have got him for two. Alright. Yep, that'll do it. And that's the power of Crick Breaker, folks. <laughs> I don't think they're completely dead. They can draw Coco, of course. Uh, Scoozer! Uh, that's getting murders. That's getting rolled out. We're going to roll out on that writer, man. That's That guy's got to die. Scoo's real good. It's a good cyborg card. I love this art too. Shout out to Sam. Alright, so. Kill that guy. Make black. Play this guy. Hit for six. Crater Hoof is seven or eight mana? I think it's eight mana. Alright, Clan Caller. Into Elite, that's not bad. Alright, we will Coco. Death Baron Servant. This is lethal. They had to block something. Yep. It's still lethal. Okay. It's into one. And I said this was a bad matchup. Shout me out. All right. Doing pretty good. Three and one. Should be 4-0, let's be real. I, I punted that game. Punted hard, not chumping. Won't forget. Monk of the Open Hand. That was a fun card in Limited. All right, match five, final match here. What don't you guys think so far? You know, leave, leave a comment. What do you think about the zombies? I mean, they, obviously with the new additions, we could make it better, perhaps. But I think it's a whole different deck. Maybe I'll have to... You know, configure or play around. We will play first. We will keep this one. Oh, no, there's no white man. There's no white mana. Okay. Go back a Reaper, I guess. The mana is tough in this deck. I'm, I'm not going to deny that. Um, it is hard. Ah, uh, you're late. You're so late. Play it next turn, though. 
What a combo. This is three mana draw card. Take a life. And we're going to end it with this, huh? How about that? Gonna gain that two life back and even get one more out of it. Little goblins. Need to kill them. I don't have removal. Murderous Rider, I guess I could try to find. Ooh, that's good. So, one, two, three, four, five. Alright, there I go. Three. No attacks, All right? Okay. Okay. I think we need a lord here. We gotta push damage. Alright, now we got all we gotta do is draw a gem and we should get it. Now, they could make a million uh, tokens here with the four mana guy. No, nope, they're gonna go goblin. Maybe sack the goblin. Make red. Yeah, Cranko, yep. Okay. And they could make a bunch of guys. We just have to find our. And they have haste, too. No attack, alright. Okay. If I alpha, yeah. This is correct. This stems the bleeding. Because then they don't have much to sack to. They can make two tokens right now, potentially more if they play another uh, goblin. And I'm just looking for anything off the top here. I, if I if I miss on the draw and I don't have lethal on the attacks, I'll obviously search for something with the crypt breaker. I'll draw another card. Yep. Okay. Chamberlain is one. Don't think this is lethal. I'm at twenty. I can't attack next turn, I know that. Yep. Oh, they have Skirks, I can make even more. Yes, yeah, it is lethal. You go to one? Oh boy, did I miss something at some point? I don't think so. This should be lethal, right? Because they can just make damn near infinite. Oh, got him to one. That's a bummer. Maybe we should lose Corpse Knight. Instead of Cocoing, feels wrong with double more damage. Yeah, 55. Yeah, okay. We're good here. Got him to one, though. Alright, we have the hate. Alright. Easy, easy, easy sideboarding. Down a game against goblins. Wow, that's a lot of tribal, huh? Tribal running rampant over the traditional historic meta. I think these decks can definitely see playing modern, too. Like, goblins can see playing modern. Zombies, I mean, you're not tier one, by no means. But... I think the deck. I think the format's so slow right now that maybe something like an infect or you know a, a faster deck could take advantage, no doubt. But back on the play here. This is a snap keep hand. Play auger third probably. So lead on this. Ooh, 
with the snoop. Wow. We're happy about that. How do they get this other Snoop in their hand? Okay. Alrighty. Then hopefully the Menace is good enough here. We'll see what they can do. Yeah. Here's the thing, they would block, I think I just tag with all three. Tag with all four, excuse me. Oh, there's three, four, five, six, seven, they go to one. Okay. Can make a two, two here at the end of the turn. Yeah, which is vengeance too good, too good, too just enough. Uh, on the on the draw again, I think it's fine. Like murderous rider, maybe better than skyclave. Sometimes double white's so tough in the deck, so tough. See if we can't get this under an hour. That'd be pretty... We're at 52 minutes right now. I think it's very doable. Oh, yeah. This is a good hand. That one's so good off turn. What a common. Oh. Now, nah, see, the only thing that sucks about this is Legion's End won't get them both because they'll sack one and then it won't fizzle. So what we're going to do is play this chapel, play this creature. It's really unfortunate. I should have, uh, well, I never had the opportunity, right? I'm going to draw this game. And you don't even have to have it. You can just sack it in general. I guess it's Death Baron. Don't like my don't like the way this game's going here. I feel bad about it. Okay, so this is a Muxus. Okay. Yeah, that's game. It's for sure game. I need to draw Witch's Vengeance off the top. They have another one? Yeah, they have another one. Can I survive? Oh, another Muxus. Jesus, yeah. Alrighty. Well, that'll wrap it up, huh? This is historic. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I couldn't. I could have killed one of them, but that's that's the problem with that card, right? It's it sacks itself. I put it on my opponent to be that good. I don't think they let them both get exiled. They played goblins before. Um, but two and or three and two, right? Three and two, and I think one of them was a punt. Back to the deck real quick before we ended up here. We will get it done within an hour, so that, that's pretty good. But uh, I think it. Oh, we got double cling. 
Because Liliana's, the, you guys know what that's, that card is. But I think the deck's very good. Um, Undead Augur obviously gives this game a lot of reach, especially against rats. You know, 20 lands, counting the two, which costs a 22. 34 creatures. I mean, we're very creature heavy. Is there room? I just don't know. I can't cut any more lands. 22 lands is pretty pretty bleak, especially when you're playing three colors. But I think Champion of the Parish was really good today. Fantastic card. Good on turn one. I like to play a one-drop turn one, not necessarily tap land. That's why you don't see the uh, Triome in here. You can't afford the tap land. It could happen sometimes, but I think this is as good as the man is going to get. If you guys have any comments, suggestions. But I might try to build just a green-black list that plays those other, uh, what we saw in the first game. Um, with Coco, so, but that's gonna wrap it up here. Thanks again for watching another, another video. Um, hopefully, I'll have that fish video up here pretty soon for you guys and play more tribal. Just make a tribal page; it'd be too funny. But all right, take it easy.